Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another stream of FTL. Uh, I'm Zorchi and I'll be playing with the uh, Federation Cruiser Type 8 today. Um, in the last two runs we did a uh, Kestrel Type A and a NG, NGA run, um, we both won. Um, I think we also lost one of the uh, Kestrel, Kestrel A runs. Um, so right now I'm two, uh, uh, one for two. Um, so yeah, let's hope this goes well. Uh, I'll be explaining some of the decision making that I'm that I'm doing throughout the game and uh, to just show you how I approach the game, what I do, uh, when I do it, and stuff like that. Uh, so the first thing is that I'm going to swap out the rock and the mantis. Uh, I don't like having a rock on uh, weapons uh, this far away from all of the other systems. Uh, I like to have the rock as a um, as a combat board. Rather, uh, so so in case I get boarded, I want the the rock to fight them, and I would rather have the mantis come over here to some of these weapon to some of these systems because he's quicker than the rock having to come all the way from this side to this side. Um, but that's just perf personal preference, to, you know, it's, it's not that it needs to be like this. So the special thing with this particular ship is that uh, we have an artillery beam that fires every 50 seconds, uh, which is one of the systems actually on the ship, and can be lowered down to 20 seconds, and uh, can be lowered even more with some uh, augmentations, uh, like an automated reloader. Uh, it's equipped with a burst laser, uh, burst laser two, and burst laser two generally considered to be the best weapon in the game. Uh, so yeah, definitely a very good starting weapon. Uh, let's have a look at the sector. We have our exit beacon, nice and far to the right. Let's see if we can get any of these nebula jumps. That would be nice. So nebula jumps are great because uh, the fleet pursuit is halved. Um, so I'm not going to go into detail and explain how FTL works exactly uh, because I did that in previous in the previous videos, uh, especially in the uh, in the Kestrel A run. Uh, so I'm just going to play the game and explain as as I go along. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. I do want this distress beacon. Uh, we have a lot of of options to uh, to go along with that. So we have a beam weapon, which is the artillery beam, and we have several different crew members that can help us out in 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 these distress beacons. So what I may just end up doing is just give up this um, um, this nebula and go here, here, and then explore the upper side. So we could also go here and then go down here, but the problem with that is if I discover that there's something good over, over here, uh, then I won't be able to go and take the nebulas. Otherwise I'd be forced to go down here and all the way down here and then go back up, which is not a great path thing. So I'll just give up this one, this one jump here. <clears throat> Let me just set up my um, stream manager on my phone. There we go. So now I can actually see if someone types. And yeah, let's get right into it. So this is a Mantis, uh, Mantis um, uh, ship. They have a charge laser um, and a and some sort of bomb. Uh, I'm just going to fire into weapons because I want to disable their weapon system as quickly as possible. Uh, their bomb seem to have uh, seem to have misfired. I, I don't, I don't, I couldn't see the bomb, but we definitely got hit in our in our uh, um, doors room. Not that big a deal. Uh, just got to repair it with our NG and <coughs> just keep their weapon system down. Uh, I, I, I would like to uh, uh, to keep this, this thing down. Um, they, they have an NG repairing, uh, repairing their system, which is not great because I... Uh, um, oh. <clears throat> because that just means that they're more likely to, to have their thing online. Um, their weapon system, which can damage me. 
The bomb system, the bomb weapon can't damage me anyway, uh, so I don't need to be worried about that necessarily. Um, but yeah, if they hit shields, that's pretty bad. Okay, 12 scrap, not too bad. Like I said, just gonna ignore this jump and going straight for the distress beacon. Uh, there are certainly uh, distress beacons which I don't want. Uh, I'm just gonna shield. Oh my goodness, one damage for five fuel and 21 scrap. That is insane. This is a very, very high scrap reward event uh, with a uh, very high fuel reward as well. Just absolutely great. Uh, yeah, not even gonna bother with this fire. I'm just gonna uh, vent out the oxygen here and um, Put it out that way and see this is exact. This is literally what I what I what I meant with going first to the um, uh, To the nebula and then going to the distress because if I would have gone distress first I would not have wanted to go back for this nebula because now I can take three distress beacons in a row just Great decision to not go down there in the first place. <clears throat> okay, let's go down to the surface. Um, yeah, I will. Uh, I would like you to join my crew. Let's go, Charlie. Okay, fighting NG, not too bad. Uh, you can go into the doors room, and yeah, perfect. Maybe I'll even. Mm, no, I'll, I'll keep him here. So I was thinking about putting Charlie on, on weapons and putting Phillips on, on, on or Mantis on, on doors. But in case there is borders, I would like this Mantis to fight. And if I have my Mantis on, on doors, that means that the level will go down once I pull him off. Uh, so instead, I'm going to leave Charlie on doors. And whenever there is borders, I'll just pull the Mantis off and deal with them. Good shit. A new... Crew member, and next distress beacon, lead them to their destination, hell yeah, seven scrap, not too bad, and a quest reward, and a quest beacon. I'm going to just continue with the, uh, oh, with the distress, uh, with the uh, distress beacons, and this is exactly why you go to distress uh, signals when you have NGs and rocks, because this is just, just free scrap. I'm fairly certain that the rock crew um, and the engine crew are both low scrap rewards uh, in this event. Um, it's still better than nothing and it's still a safe option. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to take the NG option and have my low scrap reward. It's better than nothing. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can find a store here somewhere. Do you have anything to sell? Okay, so we don't have anything to sell, uh, which means that our first 50 scrap is most likely going to go into uh, shield. So we don't actually need to find a store that urgently. Uh, it's just that I would like to find a store to see what the possibilities are. Uh, so right here we have a weapon system that times are great for the enemy. Uh, so that's quite unfortunate for me. Uh, they have a heavy laser and a beam weapon. If, as soon as the heavy laser hits, the beam go the beam weapon goes off, and that is pretty bad um, because our weapons got hit, and now we have to take another volley of this. Uh, the good news is um, these don't have the same charge time, so I think right now they're disjointed. They're disjointed. Yeah, there we go. Our our our. Uh, um, uh, our what's it called is on back online, our shield is back online, and now they're completely disjointed, so we won't have to uh, uh, take another damage for a long time. So I think the charge time of the heavy laser is 9 seconds, and the beam, uh, the beam weapon is 10. So yeah, it just matters for the first volley where we can actually take damage. Uh, after that, we are completely in the clear. Uh, one thing I would like to check out is if, if, if there's a fire, there's not. And so our, our beam weapon will just do some damage now as well. Oh, there might be a fire in there now. In which case, I may get a... Nope. Nope. Just not a fire. Uh, gonna fire into weapon or into shields here to uh, make sure that we can kill the, the ship faster. Let's see... 
Good stuff. There we go. Easy ship kill. Let's continue with a double scrap reward. Very, very good. Okay, let's see how we go through the rest of the sector. Um, I think all of these jumps are dead. Yes, that's true. So it's only these jumps up here that are left available for us. And I think I might just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just see how many jumps we have. Pretty much all of these jumps lead to the exit beacon. I think all, yeah, all of them. So yeah, we have very, we have uh, quite a few options here to uh, to go in this sector. Uh, I want to get two shields and I want to get another power bar so I can actually load up the shield. And yeah, I think I'm just going to disable the artillery beam here and go into sh into engines. Um, the artillery beam is not necessarily that good. It takes a long time to charge. I mean, 50 seconds, whereas every, whereas the, the I think the slowest uh, 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 laser weapon is, is sort of like 20. Uh, which fires four laser four lasers so yeah i just want to get some extra dodge chance um just because i uh i just don't need it uh i just don't need the extra damage let's inquire about the specialty i was pretty sure we were not going to be able to afford it because we only have six scrap but that doesn't matter we're just going to continue on with our jumps uh yeah let's look at this okay Good, we get another uh, quest marker and some scrap. Perfect. Uh, so the quest marker is going to be in the next in the next sector. Um, ooh. Okay. I mean, we don't have an option. We don't have twenty four scrap. But this is a Zoltan ship, and they have a Zoltan shield. Um, Zoltan shields have five um, have five uh, 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 can block five damage. Um, and it's pretty difficult to get through. We don't have a we don't have a choice. We have to fight the ship, but we have to get through this before we can actually damage their ship in any way. Uh, I'm going to turn on auto fire here because my burst laser is going to is going to need to fire quite a few times. And the fact that they have a missile weapon, a two damage missile weapon, that's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. We're going to take a lot of damage here. At least six damage, I, I would say. Unless we dodge something, of course, but yeah. Okay, that's good. At least their Zoltan shield is down. Um, but yeah, we, we took four damage already and we still have to fight, uh, fire off another volley. Um, not weapons. Okay, that's pretty good. And now hopefully, yes, okay. So this is an Artemis missile. Artemis uh, missiles cost two power, if I'm correct, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think it should because this is two power and this is one power. So as soon as we do two damage to their weapons, which we did, uh, that means that the Artemis missile is uh, is uh, going down. The next thing we're going to focus is shields. This will take a while to repair, so uh, just going to focus shields to make uh, to make it easier for us to hit the next uh, volley, and then go into um, into piloting right after. There we go. Easy fight. Took a lot of damage though. Um, let's go to the quest marker. Okay, another ship with a um, with a missile launcher and a basic laser. The basic laser I'm not that afraid of. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so we can do something here. Um, so I was thinking on how to handle this this boarding uh, party. Uh, so they have a teleporter. So one of their crew teleported onto my ship, and there's a few ways we can handle this. Um, our NG is on shielding right, is on is on doors right now, and NGs do 50% weapon damage. So he will never be able to win against a human crew. However, we can uh, um, lead the human uh, into. Uh, into another room by uh, venting out the air and he will go into the nearest room uh, which has oxygen which should be the okay that's pretty bad uh, which is the uh, uh, med bay and right here my, my NG can get healed uh, whereas his um, whereas his 
uh, uh, human uh, can't be healed. Uh, the breach here is pretty bad. Like, not only did he hit weapons, but there's also a breach. So, at least it's a one damage uh, missile. Uh, so, it's a lethal missile. Um, still pretty bad because our medbay got, got hit. So, yeah, we need to send another crew over there to, to deal with the border. And I think it's going to be the Mantis. I want the rock to stay on... on um, on engines because I want to have more dodge chance to fight off this uh, um, this missile launcher and now that I have my weapons repaired I'm gonna drop one shield bubble and power up my um, my burst laser again I don't need to have two shield bubbles here because they only have one basic laser and it only fires one um, uh, one laser each time so it it really doesn't matter if you have one or two shield bubbles, the Artemis or the Leto missile will just go through the shields anyway. And we whiff everything again. Oh my goodness, this is a horrible fight. Horrible. Let's get that repaired as soon as possible. I'm really glad that I charged up this this beam, um, this beam weapon, um, because that may come, uh, that may prove to be quite good in the future. Okay, very good. So there's even a fire starting here. I'm just gonna help out with that. Our weapons luckily hit them, so that's that's good. Okay, and they're trying to get away. Like this, this is a this was a tough ship fight. My goodness, tough tough ship fight. Let's see. One more hit should do it, and there we go. Okay, tough ships. We are down a lot of HP and this is only the first sector, so it may only get worse. We'll see. Um, our uh, other crew, our pilot also has sustained some damage. So this is something that I like to showcase as well. You can heal your crew just by walking them from, from uh, into the med bay when the med bay is active. And that way you can also heal your crew, uh, even though it's not technically in the room. Uh, because there's only three spots in in the um uh, where people can stand in the med in the med bay room uh, but you can heal five up to five people in a med bay uh i think i'm gonna go here and then have a look if the exit beacon is going to be overtaken or not at the next jump okay what do we have here we have ftl charging that's never great and a Combat drone and a basic laser. So we should be completely safe with two shields from this, this type of setup. Um, but I would like to have the beam weapon um, powered in this, uh, in this fight. Because they are uh, trying to run away from us. Uh, I'm going to hit piloting first to uh, uh, try and um, uh, uh, um, reduce the chances that they go and that they... That they uh, uh, get away okay they only have one level of piloting and i think there may be a fire in there no there's not a fire in there but they've sent two people over to uh to repair i want this to be charged as fast as possible again but i will wait until they have it repaired and then fire my my laser into it oh my goodness what is with these dodges yeah we just need to hit piloting as as much as possible here um, maybe the beam, the beam is gonna come in crutch later on. I really think so, to be honest. I'm really glad that I uh, uh, that I powered this. And again, as soon as it's up, I'm gonna fire into it. Um, yeah, I know the beam weapon comes online, and it's gonna beam like that. As soon as there's three systems damage on the enemy ship, uh, and they only have three crew they will put all of them to repair uh, their systems. I can show you right now. See, they have three crew. That's always with this type of ship, especially in the early game. Uh, I think later on they will have four or maybe even five crew. Um, but as soon as you damage three systems uh, on the ship anywhere, they will pull the, the guy of piloting to repair them. Uh, so this just gives us access to, uh, to kill them outright. There we go. Some scrap for our troubles. 
And now the question, is this one more jump or not? I think it may just be, but our ship is so damaged. I don't, I don't know if I want to take my chances. I'm not sure. Tough spot. Um, yeah, I think it's yeah, it's it's gonna be so close. I so I could probably take this jump and then uh, go to the exit afterwards, but. I would rather just go to the exit region right now just because I my ship is so damaged already and my weapon system is not that great yet that I can deal with a uh, a dive. Um, no, no, not gonna risk it. Oh, I really hope this decision is, is correct. Okay, let's see. Uh, we don't use missile weapons right now, so I'm going to give you the requested 5 missiles and get 20 scrap for it. I am so glad. Oh my... This is... Oh my goodness, I'm so glad that I did this. Okay, yeah, so it is overtaken. Um, uh, the exit beacon is overtaken, so I'm just going to go into the next sector. Just uh, forget this ever happened. And move on. Uh, so Zoltan controlled, we're going to encounter a lot of Zoltan ships, which we saw earlier is quite difficult for us to, to deal with right now. Uh, I ju I'm just going to go pirate controlled and then have a look what is what uh, the green sector is down here and then maybe go back up here. Uh, we also have two nebulas uh, down uh, at the end of the sector, um, which may come in handy if we find something like a uh, long range scanners. Okay, this store is dead to us. That is quite unfortunate. So I, I don't want to jump here and then jump back um, because that's just wasting a jump for me. Uh, and we don't have anything to sell right now. So yeah, I'm just going to ignore this store and try to find another store somewhere in the sector. I think pirate controls should have one or two stores in, uh, uh, in the sector. So yeah, I'm just going to try to find the other store. Okay, yet another, uh, yet another ship with a rocket launcher. Same things as before. Just try to get it down as soon as soon as possible. Uh, we're also in an asteroid field, so our crew is gonna get quite some training, especially the pilot, the engine, uh, the engine guy, and the shield guy. And yeah, we just hope that we can can get this down as soon as possible. This would have gone into weapons again, I think. So that would have been pretty bad. So one thing to note here, the weapons went down after just one hit, which tells me that this is a Leto missile uh, because it's a one one power missile. Um, that's very important because they can only do one damage. So that is something to, to keep track of um, while you play this game. And now because I hit, I hit their shields on purpose because that way they get hit by all of the missiles of the, or the, all of the asteroids that are coming towards them. And that will just help to get the, the kill much quicker. So our crew got quite a bit of, of uh, training here. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's just great. Uh, love to see the training on, on, on crew members. And if we find a ship that cannot damage us, I will definitely um, uh, take the opportunity to go for some training. Uh, great deal. We're not using our... Um, our drone parts at all, so I am gonna take this fuel. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna head back up. So this is also a dead jump. Um, so I do not want to end up here. Always check what your uh, what your routing is in the at the start of the sector. Most of the time you can sort of guess it. Like if it's if it's this far apart, then you can assume that there is gonna be a connection. But like here, the the range is just a little bit too far. And one thing I've also just seen is that this doesn't connect down, uh, which means that we have to go up here. And then this uh, this jump will enable us to go up here and then later on, maybe down here or something. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. Okay, let's reject this offer. It's pretty much exactly the same ship that we faced before. It's a, it's a this time it's a pirate interceptor instead of a mantis, uh, but still. Um, they have a charge laser and some some bomb weapon. I hope the bomb 
doesn't go off before we fire. No, it doesn't. This means that it's probably probably an iron bomb. And there we go. It's an iron stun. Uh, just from the timing, I can sort of I can sort of know that. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's difficult to 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 tell you exactly how long it's gonna take and and stuff like that. I just have a feeling for it for when it should be uh, uh, time uh, to fire and what kind of weapon it then actually is. Uh, yeah, we will not accept this this very very bad bribe. So. Um, we will not accept surrender. And then the last shot is going to go into piloting. Um, one thing to note here is that I'm going to fire into piloting now. And the reason for that is if they have level 1 piloting and my first hit takes down their piloting, my next two hits are guaranteed to hit. And since they have three, uh, three hull left, this just speeds up the, the fight itself. Uh, not anymore because they have uh, they they had their shield back up, but it was level one piloting. Okay, that's good. They also got their laser back up. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I have two shields now, so um, we can survive uh, these two these two shots anyway. Um, but still, if the if the bomb hit uh, shielding or weapons, that could have potentially been been pretty bad. Let's get some scrap and go to the quest. Okay, this is an interesting event that you don't see every day. Um, so we have an allied ASB here. So the ASB is this time on our side. You don't have that very often. So yeah, that's a, that's a great event to have. That makes this ship fight a lot easier. Even though it wasn't very hard to, to begin with. Uh, because the only thing we need to take down is the um, um, is the missile launcher, and after that it's smooth sailings. So right here you can see ASB target locked. Uh, I think the scrap reward for this event is quite low, if I if I remember correctly. I'm not entirely certain about that. Okay, well they dodge a lot. I think this may come online soon again. Just one more. Let's see. It doesn't really matter if we miss. The ASB is locked anyway and it will most likely hit. Um, so that will take it down and there we go. No problem. You salvage the wreckage. Oh my goodness. That is insane. Okay, we get a high scrap reward, a hull repair, which we definitely needed. This alone is 14 scrap right now. And an NG to, for our troubles. Absolutely insane. Really, really, really good event. Absolutely sick event. Now we definitely want to find a store. Uh, we have a lot of, of scrap. We still have nothing to sell. Uh, but we also don't have to spend any more... Uh, scrap on finding crewmates or anything like that. So yeah, just a great event in general uh, Yeah, we will never surrender uh, one of our crews to slavers Filthy slaver scum. Let's attack them They have a crew teleporter. Uh, I have so much crew. I really could not care less at this point uh, But again, they have a missile launcher and we want to take that down as soon as possible uh, it's a lethal missile again. It's a one damage missile as we saw, as we saw here. And they could tell from the timing uh, uh, on how it worked out uh, that it is a lethal missile. Just gonna heal up my crew uh, and then fire into, into piloting. That could have potentially been a mistake um, because they could have also repaired their missile launcher. So yeah, wasn't probably wasn't the best idea to fire uh, right away. Um, so, this is an interesting one. Right here we can get a rock uh, by accepting their offer of surrender or click surrender is not an option. If you take the rock, they, th that's it. You get a crewmate and, uh, um, and no, no scrap whatsoever. If you, if you press surrender is not an option, you always get a high scrap reward. So that is something to keep in mind. If you want scrap, surrender is not an option. If you want the crewmate, just take the crewmate. What do I want? We have a lot of crew, we already have a rock. 
I would like my um, my crew to be a bit more beefy. So we have uh, a few engines right now, so our fighting crew is not that great. But I mean, scrap is king, right? I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to accept it. Uh, we have a lot of scrap. We can spend it on uh, on a store we find. Uh, I'm going to put my my guy on shielding. Uh, that way we sort of divide our our resources. Uh, um, our NG uh, resources evenly on the ship. And also the rock. Uh, uh, so if there's a fire on this side of the ship, this rock can deal with it. Um, because rocks are fire immune, so they can deal with... Um, I fire it much more easily and then I'll just keep it like this so I can move around the NGs as necessary. No store to be found here but not really, uh, doesn't really matter. I am just gonna go and collect a little bit more scrap before hopefully finding a store. Okay this is a great ship. Uh, app, this is a great ship. This is a training ship for us uh, because they have two lasers that fire relatively qu quickly uh, there's a um, heavy laser and a basic laser. Uh, they both fire only one laser uh, each time and we have two shield bubbles so we can never get damage from the ship. Doesn't matter what the timing is, we can never take any damage from the ship. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sit here for a bit and actually get some training for my crewmates. Um, well, my, my new rock uh, doesn't have any sort of training on, on shielding. Um, so I would like this guy to get trained a little bit at least. Um, and also what is more important for me is the engine and the piloting uh, training. And there we go. That's the first guy that actually got some training done. Uh, we now, instead of having 20% uh, evasion, we have now have 22. And that is because we have two, um, two power in engines right now. Um, and both the piloting and the engines mend. So every time we dodge, we get one more uh, one more point in, of training. Uh, so right now my rock also uh, leveled up, so that's why we have 24% uh, percent of dodge. Um, so it's it's a very basic uh, system of uh, it's a very a basic XP system. Every time they miss a shot, uh, these guys get a training. Each time my shields get hit, gets hit my shield guy gets training, as you can see right here. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna sit here for a bit and, uh, and um, yeah, just, just get some training done basically. Uh, so yeah, if you have any um, suggestions about the stream or anything like that, or you wanna say hi, uh, now is the time, basically, <laughs> if you want to have a conversation about something. Uh, I have my phone down here uh, with, the, um, uh, with the Twitch feed. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. Do a barrel roll. Oh man, that is... That's got to be a tough one. How, how, the, how the frick would I even do that? Well, one thing that's actually fun to note and... and I don't know. Like this is this is something that that I saw the um, I think the developers of this game say. So what is actually happening? This so these these uh, images are static, right? But what is actually happening, sort of? Just type it into Google. Okay, let's uh, let's Google this. Oh my! What the? Okay, I definitely need to get used to this, to this streaming thing, because, yeah, what the fuck is this, the, the gist bin? Okay, that, that name already is just, that's a whole other story to, to unpack, I feel like. So, <laughs> so what's going on, man? Uh, you having a good time? Have you played FTL before, or? Are you quite new to new to FTL uh, and you just randomly stumbled stumbled? <laughs> and still worked. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it definitely did work. I've never seen that, by the way. So that's a uh, that's a uh, that's a do it for me. So did you uh, did you ever play any FTL yourself, or just randomly stumbled stumbled in here? Ah, right, okay, fair enough. Yeah, so welcome. Uh, I hope you enjoy the content. Uh, uh, and yeah, if there's any more barrel rolls I can do for you, then uh, just let me know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but what I was gonna say, actually... Um, nice, man. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely got me. That that was that was great. I mean, I, 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 I when I saw when I see streamers and then they they get debated by something like this, uh, I I know I know. I mean, I mean from your name, it's it's your kind of ship. Like, and the best thing is where the next lasers are gonna be right here. <laughs> so just saying, you're in for a treat tonight. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm just gonna call it. Uh, well, I'm gonna get some more training onto shields uh, before I go. Um, so right now my engines guy and the pilot guy is uh, is trained, and I want one level of training on my shield. I'm not gonna stay here all night and just just sit here doing bow rolls and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I dropped my my engine power um, to. Uh, um, to make sure that I have 0% evasion, so all of my all of the hits that they're gonna do are going onto shields, and that way I can just level. Uh... <laughs> exactly, yeah. Like very, very entertaining stuff right here. Just uh, <laughs> Pri prime time stuff right here. Uh, let's see. So we don't have to disable weapons here. Uh, uh, we can disable either piloting or shields. Doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna go for piloting and then shields. Uh, but yeah, they pulled off their um, their engines, guys. So uh, just gonna try to hit shields here. See how that goes. Okay. Uh, that seemed to have gone well. Um, maybe piloting next. Okay, we will not accept surrender. Um, the scrap gain there was just too low. Uh, next thing is gonna go into shielding. Okay, and that's down now as well. Next volley will kill. Uh, and that is that. So we have some crew training done. We have 30% evasion uh, and with of the 20 that we started with. So just from training, we got 10% more evasion, which is just, it's so good. True training is just so underrated in this game. Okay, and again, Distress Beacon and uh, Rock and Engine Members is amazing. Uh, they give you a lot of blue options. Um, so yeah, just send my Rock Crew member in, contact the survivors. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. I think I just came a little because this is an amazing augment. Long range scanner is uh, considered to be the best augment in the game, um, or at least one of the, um, because it it shows you what the next ship, what the next fights are going to be, or the possibilities. So right here we can see this beacon will give us an asteroid field and a possible and a possible uh, ship fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why is that? <laughs> Why is that, Mr. Mr. Jisbin? Okay, difficult chip. So 
So this is quite a difficult ship actually. Uh, again, Zoltan Shield, uh, two lasers and a bomb type weapon. Uh, okay, okay, that's that's fine. I can deal with this. Uh, piloting hit is not great, but anything but shields or weapons here is is completely fine. Um, the um, the laser can never damage us. They fire two lasers and we have two shields, so that's that's all good. Uh, but we just don't want shields to get hit because we're in a solar uh, because the solar flare is going to happen soon. That's completely fine. I'm I'm very happy with the where the fires ended up being. Uh, I'm just gonna um, get take care of the fires by venting out the oxygen uh, and then fire into their shields because their weapons are already uh, non are not a threat to us. Because I never bothered with true train besides normal leveling and I've never considered long range scanners to be that good but I've heard it many times. Yeah, so so I, I can very much understand that. Uh, when I first started playing the game I also thought okay that's that's not that good. But then um, I watched another streamer called Lethal Frag, and he actually explained why they are so good. And the reason is just because you can really plan ahead on, on what you're going to encounter, what you should avoid, more importantly. So, yeah, it's they're absolutely amazing. Very, very underrated in FTL, I feel like. Um, so yeah, the, F the, the Solar Flare finished off their ship and we can get out of here with our crew a little bit damaged. Um, I'm just going to heal them back up and I'm going to put this guy on piloting momentarily just to be able to get out of here if I need to. Um, uh, because the Solar Flare can go off at any second again. Um, you don't have to rush to get out of, to get out of here. Uh, the so like you will get the, the audio cue. Uh, when the solar flare is going off, and then you can just jump away. Uh, I'm just going to have a look down here to see if we can uh, find a um, to see if we can find a store. Okay, uh, yeah, sure, let's do it. Agree to trade. So for two um, for two missiles and three uh, drone parts, we can upgrade a reactor, even though we can't use those those resources yet. So great trade right there. Yeah, not a bad trade at all. Okay, more distress beacons. And I think we have only we only have two more jumps before the uh, before the exit. So this one leads to the exit, but also the other distress beacon leads to the exit. So that is something to to keep in mind. Um, I think we can search for the ship, but we only have scanners level one, so I don't know if we will be able to find it. Okay, that is great. So again, I'm not so sure that we are actually going to be able to take this distress beacon. So I think I would rather go straight away to the exit. I'm pretty sure that's going to be overtaken, actually. Um, yeah, even though maybe we could even go distress, distress, and then dive, but that is some ballsy move, especially because we haven't uh, we haven't actually spent our scrap yet. So I wouldn't want to take that. Uh, that risk necessarily. Uh, I would like to to spend some of my scrap, but yeah, we need to find a weapon soon. Um, we need to find a store in the next sector to um, to really yeah. See, that's what I mean. Uh, to be able to uh, deal with these uh, uh, with the upcoming ship fights, because um, right here in this sector, in sector three. Um, they're going to have shields, uh, two shields uh, ships, and if we only have three lasers, that means we have to rely on our artillery beam to do damage, and that's just generally a bad idea. So usually I tend to go for more green sectors than red, um, because red sectors are in general more or less more difficult. It's not always the case, by the way, but Zoltan controlled right here would be just be suicide. Um, to first have to go through the Zoltan shield and then to, to through two shield ships is is madness. So I'm just going to go rock controlled. Maybe I'll go for uh, uh, a store with um, uh, there we go with uh, a defense drone for instance. Um, uh, so drone control wise, or maybe I'll just go cloaking uh, because in a rock control sector they have a lot of 
um, uh, missile type weapons. So yeah, we need to be able to, to take those on. And there's the cloaking. Maybe we get a weapon. We do not. That is fine. Um, okay, let me just have a think. So crew, con tr crew teleporter is even an option because we have a lot of crew. Would rather avoid that because our crew is currently tied up into, like our fighting crew is tied up into shields and uh, um, uh, into shields and weapons uh, with the rock and the mantis. Uh, so I think I would rather go cloaking and just try to find another weapon system later. Yeah, there's no more stores. So one thing that I also like to do is just have a look at what the other jumps are. So maybe there is a store nearby and you just don't, and you just didn't notice. And then you spend all of your scrap in this store and then you're screwed. Maybe. Um, yeah, just going to have a look. I think, I think spending 150 here on cloaking is, is definitely uh, not bad. We should still be able to take on um, uh, enemy ships. Uh, even with this weapon setup, and definitely in an asteroid field. So I'm going to jump back here, take the distress beacon, and then this uh, this jump right here, and then go uh, uh, make my way down here. Uh, let me just have a look what leads to the exit. So so I was worried that this might not lead to the exit, but it does. Uh, and then yeah, we're just going to go down here and then make our way back up, and that way we can see all of the jumps in the sector. So here we're going to use the, uh, the asteroid field to our advantage. Okay, very difficult ship. Um, burst laser 2 and a heavy laser. Quite difficult to take care of. Um, yeah, how am I going to do this? <laughs> I think I'm just going to vent this out. First of all. Uh, I'm going to fight with him a little bit. And here is something you can do. That is called uh, juggling of uh, crewmates. Uh, you can make him go in and out of the room and because it's a rock he will react very slowly. Um, the, uh, and take, this guy is taking damage from the suffocation right now. So that is one way to deal with crew events. Even though I only have NG crew that is free right now to fight with this guy. Uh, the burst laser 2 just fired. So I'm gonna cloak. Uh, put my power back into O2 uh, and now I'm gonna wait for a asteroid to come in and kill one of their one of their shield bubbles gonna fire into weapons when their shield bubble is still down there we go That should be fine. I'm gonna fire into shields here. Uh, my guy should be able to take care of them uh, once he's in. There we go. I'm gonna close all of the doors again. Now I'm gonna open all of my doors to uh, to get the oxygen that is on this side of the ship to equilibrate the oxygen over here, and then close all the doors quickly again to um, prove to uh, make sure that. Um, that everything can equilibrate. Let's see, thingy in here. And yeah, I'm just gonna fire into shields here to uh, to keep the shields down. Um, their weapon system is no longer an issue for us, so yeah, that's this should all be fine like this. That's what I thought. I thought they might have a fire. So right here, they have a rock uh, crew, so we can never kill them with uh, with fire uh, because rocks are immune to fire uh, so yeah we just have to to kill them the old-fashioned way uh, one way to to kill rocks is by by cutting off the o2 um, it's not a very reliable way if you only have a burst laser I might take this I might take this uh, life form scanner is not great uh, but it sells so I think I will just take this this offer right here. Um, yeah, I mean, we we don't uh, we don't need to. Um, I mean, it's not a great augment for us or anything like that, but it's just it's just nice. Uh, let's search for the ship, and we found it again. Very nice. 
So I think with, with level 2 scanners there you get a blue event um, with which you can uh, just search for the ship always, guaranteed. Uh, not so scary ship. Maybe it looks scary because of the burst laser 2 and the two beams, but they don't time out well. So these two fire way before the burst laser 2 does and they can't penetrate shields. So yeah, we are completely safe here. Uh, I'm still going to fire into weapons and cloak uh, just because I don't want to get hit. The cloak was a bit late, but still. Um, uh, we should just be able to, to, to finish them off just by firing into weapons. Okay, let's try and go for a curricle here. They, they have um, uh, their weapons room on fire. I don't think we'll be able to make it, but uh, we can try. If there would be a fire starting here, then we could definitely get it. Uh, but since there is not, uh, the chances just went down a lot. So I'm just going to try and keep this down. Um, preventing damage is always better uh, than doing damage yourself uh, in, in FTL. So yeah, anytime you can uh, keep the enemy's weapons down, that is, uh, that is absolutely great. I think one more volley should do it. Uh, yeah, we will not be we will not be accepting uh, surrender here. <clears throat> Way better, so, much, much double the scrap, um, and yeah, just much much better reward there. Another distress beacon, man. We have gotten so many distress beacons; it's insane. Let's go down to the surface. I do not want him, want him to join my crew, so I will take him home to his family and get a hull repair. I think there was also a possibility for us to get some, some upgrades here to our engines. Not entirely certain about that. Um, yeah, great. Asteroid field. Give me more of those. Um, those can really help us because uh, we're not very well equipped right now to deal with two shield ships. Uh, and we do have cloaking, so we can dodge underneath their, their volley. Um, so yeah, their ship should not be an issue for us at all. Uh, as soon as long as we keep the weapons down. Next thing I'm going to fire into is the shields. Again, asteroid field. Uh, if I destroy their shields, asteroids will just keep hitting them. Um, so yeah, it's just a safe option to go into shields next. Uh, let's see... Okay, very good hit. The, again, there's no point in hitting oxygen here. Their shields are down. Uh, they're going to get hit by asteroids. So, yeah, we're not going to get a crew kill here. Okay, our shields guy is getting some decent uh, um, uh, training dose, which is great. Um, I, think, I would like to go one, two, three, and then go up here. But it's not likely that that's actually going to happen. Let's go one, two... And then up here, and then look if there's a store here. I desperately need a store. Desperately. We're really lucky that we've only encountered one, two shield ship. And as I say that, we have encountered two. Uh, two shield ships. Um, this could maybe be a crew kill. Um, so the reason I say that is because this is a two crew ship and they have a lot of hull but they do have a really really good weapon system as well so i uh, yeah I, let's not let's not be over hasty with these uh with these decisions let's just lure this guy into the uh, med bay again uh and take care of him that way uh, i would like to have my o2 back and now just fire into weapons very good we can dodge underneath this uh, this flag too. It fires seven projectiles, so yeah, it's very very important that we dodge that. Perfect. Uh, we should probably also heal our guy in the med bay. That would also be good. And I'm just gonna try and fire into weapons. Yeah, two hits to weapons is enough uh, to take care of him. Um, the oh, this might actually be a crew kill. Um, so the basic laser only takes one energy and the uh, flag takes three, I think. So as soon as we do one, more than one damage, the flag has to go down. Uh, 
Um, so that way you can sort of control where, uh, uh, which weapons you are fighting against. And this, uh, as soon as this teleport is recharged, the full HP rock will board our ship and I will try to kill it as, as soon as possible. Okay, let's see where it goes. That is great. I will try and get, and get a kill here. Um, because I can then kill off this rock with my lasers and get a crew kill that way. Okay, this is looking very, very promising. Let's see, I think I would need three hits. Let's fire into... Well, that was a mistake. Um, let's try and fire into shields because now the shields are down uh, and it's much easier for me to hit. I think I can just cloak underneath the um, the uh, uh, flak 2 here and that way the next laser should uh, do the trick and actually just kill him off. Let's go! I still have to cloak because the, the missiles, are, the, the projectiles are still coming my way. Um, but yeah, crew kill, very nice, sick. Let's go. Okay, like I said, next beacon is going to be here. I should have healed up my crew, but sh shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, going to pop these guys in the med bay. And then afterwards continue with my journey. I really need to find a store. It's it's so important to find a store here. Uh, asteroid field, great. Yeah, I mean, we are in a rock sector, so asteroid fields are a little bit more common. Um... So yeah, we can definitely use that to our, to our advantage. Really, really good weapon system. Uh, really ter terrifying weapon system. Luckily we have cloaking. So we can mitigate some of the, the, the terror that the, <laughs> that the weapon system is exerting. Um, but yeah, just want to wait for an asteroid to hit. And then fire. Come on. Okay. And then fire into uh, weapons. No, nope, no, don't, don't miss. That's that's not, that's not nice. No, nope, no, nope, again. No, don't, don't miss. Oh shit! Come on! Now they're taking the piss. Okay, shield. Okay, med bay hit. Not too bad. They did hit the thing. I was distracted. Um, come on. Come on, asteroid. Uh oh. Please don't. Okay, the, the asteroid hit. I'm gonna fire into into weapons here. Okay, very good. Shields got hit. Oh my goodness, we're taking so many hits right now. This ain't good. Okay, I'm just gonna cloak their volley. Okay, good stuff. I think we should be reasonably safe here. Um, I'm just going to fire into shields here. I really would like to fire into shields again. Ah, too late. No. Okay, still. There was an asteroid hitting them at the same time. Hmm. Maybe we need some, uh, some, some help here from our lovely little beam weapon. Hmm. I don't want to take it, but I'm really afraid of this ship. I'm really, really afraid of this ship. Like the weapon system, like I said, is just so good. Okay. Okay, that's that's pretty decent. We we gotta cloak underneath this this next volley. And then fire into well into any room basically. They only have one one hit point left. Um Heal up my guy and continue on with our journey. Store, yes, but I, then I won't be able to go down to the... I think I will die for this store. Is this one, two, three? One, two, oh, one. To, uh, I don't like it. 
I think I will have to ignore this door. Hmm. No, I'm not gonna be so. So right now I'm kind of in a pickle. Um. Because I would like to go to this door. I mean, I've talked about stores pretty much the entire sector. But the thing is, I would have to go here, then here, and then here, and then here afterwards. So we will have to dive eventually. But yeah, diving is pretty tricky because we don't have a lot of engines yet to get out of there as fast as possible. Um, but I will do it. Because I have to find a weapon at this store. I, I, I have to find something at the store. Otherwise, the run is going to be over most likely anyway. So, let's have a look. There is a weapon. There is a weapon. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. So, I think Burst Laser 1 is, is the weapon of choice here. Uh, because it's a fast fire firing uh, uh, laser weapon that... Uh, um, that can get, that gives us two extra lasers, and then we can actually get on the line as well. Um, I would like to get both, but that would be really greedy. That would be really, really greedy. So we can sell life form scanner. Um, we don't need it, and like I said, that's the only reason why I got it in the in the first place, um, and. Yeah, getting rid of that is is uh, uh, just gives us a little bit more scrap to play with. Yeah, okay, so this beacon is probably going to be overtaken already. Uh, so I will have to dive this one and this one. Uh, not that big a deal. We did get some training on our uh, on our engines and our piloting. So we can get pretty out of there pretty quickly. Uh, and we also have cloaking to deal with any, any sort of... Um, uh, any sort of uh, ASB situation. Um, I'm just gonna get my my uh, burst laser online, and after that, I will get some some engine power. I think probably like this, because then I can drop this and the oxygen to get four uh, to four engines with fully trained. Uh, um, engine guys and pilots, you can get out of there with only one ASB shot, if I remember correctly. So the only thing we have to be careful about now is to, um, is to with the boarding that is going to happen. So I'm just going to go through the through the rest of the sector uh, on the right side. That is good. That is uh, okay. Maybe just one dive. That is not bad. That is pretty good. I think that decision just saved our run right there. Okay. I've not I've not seen this event in a long time. I don't remember this. Let's do a evasive maneuvers. Okay. Send someone out there. Uh oh. I don't know which one. I really don't. I really don't. Do you have an idea, uh, just Ben? What should we do, red or blue? I don't know. I've not seen this event in such a long time. I, I honestly have no idea. No idea, or do you not uh, want to want to take the decision by yourself? Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna go blue. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I think I could have lost the crew there as well. 
Yes, 25 scrap, not bad. We did, we did uh, uh, make it in the end uh, to uh, this jump here, so we only have to dive once. Great, great, great news. Uh, gonna get two more power bars to be able to power my my uh, engines and my and my cloaking. That was close. I agree. Yeah, that was close indeed. I mean, the good news is we would only have lost one crew member, and we actually have a lot of crew members. But if that would be one of the trained guys, that would have been yeah, not so great. Uh, so the the the, laser, uh, the the missile just fired, so just gonna cloak that, and now use my brand spanking new burst laser to, to luckily take it down. Okay, that is not good. Well, I just need to repair that ASAP. Luckily, we have to look at this. That is just sick. Oh my. Well, at least we have three engines repairing it. And we just cannot seem to hit the ship for some reason. Oh, well, okay. Next, uh, next issue we have. Well, that's pretty bad, actually. Okay. Very good. Just more into weapons. Just want to prevent this. Well, that from happening. Uh, we do have, um, yeah, we will not accept surrender. You can stick that up your butt. And that's good. No, it's still, I don't think it's, it's a cruise kill still. We can try to make it a crew kill. I don't think it will happen. Oh, well, nah, there's, there's no way. If the fire spreads to this room here, maybe. But I don't think it will. This this room will run out of oxygen um, pretty pretty soon, actually. Um, but then they will just repair the oxygen and yeah, nothing will happen. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. And yeah, well, they're starting repairing it. I do not want that. That's a, that's a big no-no. Okay, some more scrap. And we out of here. Uh, let's fire up our engines and dive, uh, dive the sector. Yeah, that's a big old ship. Three shields. Oh my goodness. Yeah, our offense is really far behind. Uh, luckily, we can just block these two. Uh, but yeah, we will have to eat this uh, this missile. I'm afraid. Okay, not too, well, too bad. Do I have to eat this missile? I mean, we have 40% dodge chance as it is. Yeah, I'll just... Yo, ho, ho, ho! 40% dodge chance. Hell yeah. So as you can see, we're more than halfway charged. Um, uh, so the ASB, we can just dodge with our cloaking. And during our cloaking, their weapon system doesn't charge, so... We can just get out of here. Um, I am going to go Mantis controlled here. So abandoned sector is a sector where we encounter the Lanius. Uh, it's another race uh, that sucks oxygen out of the room. Um, it's not. Yeah, it's it's. They have teleporters. They have really strong ships. Only go here if you want a lot of scrap because you do get a lot of scrap in these sectors usually. But only if you actually have a Lanius yourself or a uh, or a really strong boarding crew, uh, because that way you can deal with them. Manus Control also involves uh, boarding parties, uh, which we're not very well equipped to deal with. But the reason why I'm going here is because eventually I want to go uh, um, to these two nebula regions. Uh, we do have um, uh, long-range scanners, and nebulas are great. To um, to use in um, in nebulas because you usually tend to end up with more scrap uh, because of uh, or fleet pursuit and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let's focus mantis controlled. Uh, we do have a shield overcharge that we can sell at a store, uh, but still we only have twenty six scrap. So I will try to get as much scrap as possible before hitting the store. 
Um, let's hope we uh, we get some scrap along the way. Two beam drones, one um, one iron uh, weapon, and a uh, missile. I would like to deactivate the missile, but their FTL is charging as well. So I think deactivating their FTL is more important right now. Oh. Well, that's not great. Okay, well, we, we, we got their FTL down. Um, we got their their uh, um, their uh, jump drive down. Let's... Why did I fire into shield? I should have fired into weapons here. Oh, I'm, I'm punished immediately. Oh my goodness, that is just... So stupid. Oh... Yeah, well, that uh, that should have definitely been been weapons that I was hitting. Luckily, we still have our cloaking, so yeah, we can just cloak underneath this, wait for a burst laser to come online, and then fire into uh, fire into weapons. The only issue is their um, their piloting is going to come online pretty soon. Um, so yeah, I need to be able. There we go. I need to be able to to kill uh, this afterwards. And we are. Perfect. Okay, reverse iron field. Something more to sell. That's great. Yeah, great. It's a great augment as well. Uh, just, well, we can't really make use of it right now. So I would rather just sell it off than, than keep it myself. And like I said, this is the way to, to heal five crew members at the same time. Um, yeah, really neat trick in, in case you're in a pickle sometime. Uh... Let's just head up here, get some more scrap. Hopefully, nope, that, nope, not that way. Uh, gonna take two ship fights. See, this was an empty jump. Like we didn't see a ship, uh, a ship fight there. So that's what that's what makes the the um, long range scanner so powerful. I can now just say, okay, I'm not gonna go here. I'm just gonna go here, here, and then here, and just avoid this beacon altogether. And that way, you can just plan out the uh, the sector much better. We are not gonna stay cloaked and, and stay hidden. Uh, we are gonna attack because I am not a bitch. So yeah, let's just kill this this guy. Same thing again, gonna just vent out uh, this guy right here. Gonna lure him into the med bay, power the med bay, and then just take care of him like that. My doors are not going to go down, and I'm just going to fire into weapons. Uh, their weapon system can potentially hit me. Uh, this this one, um, this laser here, the charge laser. Uh, so I'm just going to prevent that. Uh, I'm just going to fire into weapons here. I'm going to get shields down next. And now that shields are down, it's just going to be an easy kill. Okay. Perfect. I think this guy may board uh, again soon, as soon as this this uh, laser is recharged. But we we probably will just kill before then. Yeah, there we go. Twenty five scrap, not bad. Oh, even more ship fights. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still gonna go store. Um, I want to upgrade my weapons even even further. Maybe I should not go store here. So whenever you see the 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 um, uh, words "aid the civilian ship," that means that you have a potential um, double reward on your hands. Um, so that is something you can. Uh, that's something that can really help you out uh, when you are. Uh, yeah, just just to know that there's a double reward there. So sometimes it's it's a pirate event, and uh, they have. Uh, sometimes they will surrender, uh, but then it's better to not surrender and actually just um, uh, and actually just take it uh, um, and fight it out because then you get a, you can get a double reward at the end. Okay, three three shield ship, very very difficult. Uh, they also have an NG that I have to deal with. Um, I think I may just. Load up my beam weapon again, just to just to deal with it a little bit easier. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, this ship is annoying. Especially the fact that it has um, uh, three shields is just very, very annoying. Okay, got two hits there. Medbay got taken down by the um, by the iron bomb. Not not that big a deal. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, drop these guys in there. They can never hit me unless I get hit on on shields with the iron bomb. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go into shields, keep the shields down. Oh, that's great. And then afterwards, go into weapons. Okay. And that's that. Attempt to contact the civvies, and there we have a double reward. Easy peasy. So yeah, let's put all of the guys back into their positions. Hmm. <laughs> So, there's two reasons why I'm not going to this store right now. Um, I'm going to go up here uh, to see if there's any, any, any more uh, stores up here or if there's any more ship fights up there. Uh, one of them is that if I go down here, I have to come back somehow uh, to go back to this side. And I think the only... I could go one, two, three... Hmm. Yeah, because I thought, I, I do want to avoid this beacon, uh, because if you see this beacon with, with an unvisited location, uh, that is a, that a, with a sun event, that is a boarding event. And this boarding event is really annoying because you have to deal with the solar flare that is about to happen, but also with borders. And in a mantis control sector, that's just, that's just a big no-no. So... I know that there's scrap gains up here, so I think it's better if I just invest in some defense right now, um, into shielding, uh, and go up here and collect a little bit more scrap and then really hope for a, a store. Um, let's attempt to download. They did not like that. Our engines got hacked, uh, but they only have two shields, so I should be able to deal with this. Three shields coming in, coming in really handy right here. Uh, they have an iron weapon and a laser and a beam. And yeah, I can just easily take care of that uh, because I now have three, uh, three shielding. Mm. So yeah, so far my decision making has been pretty on point, I would say, uh, with both the exit beacons and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, pretty, pretty happy about that. Let's see. Yeah, I think I think this should be enough. I'm just gonna go shielding right now, and after that, I'm gonna go um, into piloting. Uh, just make sure that is down, uh, so that I guarantee my next hits, my next shots to hit. There we go. Uh, and the next volley, because I know that piloting is down, they have four health and one shield bubble. So if I do, I do have five lasers. So my next volley is gonna kill. I know that for a fact. So that's one of the reasons why I go into piloting, just to guarantee that. Uh, Asteroid field, again, great event uh, for us. Uh, we can deal with um, higher shield ships. And very scary laser. Oh my goodness, this is so scary. Heavy laser and a heavy laser mark two. Three, uh, two damage lasers. I'm so glad we got three shields. So, so glad. I mean, we still have cloaking. Well, like, that's something we, we shouldn't forget, but man, this is scary. Really scary. Luckily, their weapon system also doesn't really time out. Um, this is, I think, 9 seconds and this is 13, 12 or 13 or something. Um, but even if it did, it doesn't matter because, uh, yeah, we have three shields anyway. Uh, so yeah, this entire run we have not used uh, the artillery beam that much and that's just because, like I mentioned in the beginning, it's, it's just not worth it most of the time to actually use the, uh, the artillery beam. Uh, there's just better offensive systems, so yeah, we will not accept surrender. Uh, I would like to take a higher scrap reward, thank you very much. 
And yeah, continue with the asteroid field. Asteroid fields, okay, this is not nice. They had mind controlled on one of our engines. It doesn't really matter. It would have been more annoying if our pilot or our engines guy or our weapons guy, especially the weapons guy, got, got, got mind controlled. The good news is they don't have a shield, so yeah, they're gonna they're just gonna get wrecked by this asteroid field. I don't want this to go down as soon as it oh it doesn't even go down. Well, that is just perfect. Oh yeah, because I got hit. Yeah, just gonna hit piloting here. He's busy. Not much to say, really. Let's charge this a little bit faster. So the FTL also also charges a lot faster with the more um, the more power you have in engines. Uh, ooh, yeah, not gonna deal with that. So again, something that is great about um, about long range scanners, you can always see what kind of events you you are going to to encounter. This is a pulsar. Um, it will periodically remove shielding that you have, and this is, these events are so dangerous. You can use them to your advantage as well by, by uh, letting the enemy shields be removed first and then firing in the meantime and stuff. There are certain tricks that you can do. In general though, this is a bad event. This is something you should avoid, like a plague. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not uh, not take that event and just do something else. Uh, oh, there's a scary weapon system. <laughs> a scary weapon system on top of three shields. That is, oof. I'm so glad we have cloaking. I'm gonna charge up my beam, uh, my beam weapon, just because I don't trust myself to to hit here and to disable some of their weapons yeah there we go maybe I sh maybe i didn't need to to cloak here um but yeah oh good okay and now we're safe that's that that should do it um uh yeah let's just go shields right here they're repairing their weapons but it's going to take some time and I, I was assuming that they uh, had six power in their weapons, just like I have, which means that if I did one damage, then their shield would go down uh, by one bubble. And now I can fire into uh, into shielding again to uh, reduce this even further. Um, I can just dodge this next uh, volley if need be uh, with my cloaking. Fire and shielding, and then my beam will do the rest. Uh, yeah, we will not accept surrender. Thank you. That's good. That's interesting. This could be a crew kill, but the ship is too scary for me, so I'll just I'll just kill it. There we go. Get some free scrap, and I'll just fly around the exit beacon to collect as much scrap as possible. This is really scary, okay. Four Mantis boarding party? Not what you want to deal with. Um, I'm gonna vent out all of these rooms so that my guys can go into the med bay and just fight in the med bay so that they're not killed. <laughs> That's the basic idea behind it. I don't care about that this goes down. Um, as long as they don't kill it completely, I don't, I don't take hull damage from it. Uh, so yeah, I'll just, I'll just let these guys in, close everything up, and um, then put this guy together with the NG, so they can actually kill off the uh, the mantis right here. As you can see, my my crew is completely safe, and that's just because I lured them into the into the um, into the med bay here. Okay, scary event. Boarding events in a um, uh, in a uh, mantis sector are just deadly. Just so deadly. Hmm. 
Yeah. Very nice. Good shit. Survived. Okay, with this with this jump, that's probably uh, I can probably just get this jump and this jump um, before heading to the exit. So let's hope that the last one is actually a store. I highly doubt it, but one may hope. We have more than enough uh, uh, fuel, so I'm just going to ignore this station because we don't need it. No store, unfortunately, but I'm definitely going to take this uh, this jump still. Um, I'm not going to board the station and look for survivors. This can lead to the death of one of your crew members and you may or may not get one in return. So it's just better to scrap for some, uh, uh, to get some free scrap. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's event like these, especially if you have few, uh, if you have just have a few crew left that are just deadly, absolutely deadly. Uh, I'm gonna dock with the refuel oh, refueling platform. Didn't like that. Uh, we took a lot of damage to our engines. Uh, not that big a deal. Um, the enemy ship can't damage us, so I might, I might look to get a crew kill here actually. So I can get a crew kill here by targeting their O2. Um, I'm just gonna fire my burst laser two first. Look how much damage it does, and then fire my my burst laser one afterwards. On well, that, did absolutely nothing. But I can just keep doing this. Like they, they only have two lasers. I have three shields, so I'm completely safe here. Okay, they only have level one or two. That's good. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait for this to repair, and then fire into O2 again. Um, as if I would let's say. This guy is repairing it, and he is 90% done with repairing. If I would fire into O2 then, it wouldn't go down to zero, it would stay at 90%. So then he can finish it really quickly. But if I wait for it to go to 100% and then put, and then damage it again, it goes to zero. So I just have to wait until, it's, um, until I see that it goes back up. As soon as I see that, I'm going to fire there again uh, to take it back down. And that way I can just slowly but surely take down the oxygen um, with which we can get a suffocation kill. Uh, so right now should be approximately the time when it goes back up and I just fire in there again. They have a lot of hull, so that's why I'm firing with two lasers and they have a lot of power in engines apparently. So they have a lot of dodge chance. Um, I just need to make sure that it goes down every single time. Otherwise it doesn't make sense to do this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you can see the room is sort of turning reddish now. Um, uh, that just means that we're doing uh, we're doing a good job, uh, and we are on good pace to actually kill the oxygen. Very good. Mm, I'm kind of worried that they may not have enough uh, enough hull to keep doing this, but we'll see. I think we're quite close actually to, to for the O2 level. Ah, uh, that is really unfortunate. The stuff like that you just can't have. Uh, now the oxygen is just gonna refill in the meantime. And like I said, I don't think they have enough hull to, uh, to keep doing this. We'll still try, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. It's very tricky that because they have so much power in engines, uh, like they don't have a lot of power in shields, they don't have a lot of power in weapons. So where's the power gonna go? It's gonna be, uh, um, piloting and engines because O2 is also only one so yes yeah, you can sort of see the power allocation just by just by thinking about how much how much power they have in the other systems yeah it's not gonna work yeah that's fine uh, we still gotta gotta kill here um, there was no point not to do it. Um, crew kills generally just net you a higher scrap reward. So uh, yeah, it's just a positive. Uh, we are so gonna go engine controlled here. Engine controlled gives you the, gives us the option to um, to find um, uh, stores much more frequently. I think there's like two or three stores in every single NG uh, sector. So we will be able to find a store here. I'm pretty sure. 
and we need to find an upgrade for our weapon system and we need to sell off our junk that we picked up along the way. Uh, let's see... Distress Beacon... Oh yeah, blue options with the, with the beam weapon, amazing. Carefully cut them out and get a high scrap reward, let's go. Um, right here I'm going to this jump because it shows one, two, three, four, five jumps uh, surrounding it. So it gives me the highest chance of finding a sore. Uh, the other one would, would have only shown three. Um, so yeah, let's move into assist. Scary weapon system. Scary boarding party. Do not like the look of this. The good news is they have they only have mantises here, which is pretty nice. Because that means um, um, that means they can't repair very quickly. So if I disable weapons here, then weapons are gonna be disabled. Uh, uh, for a while. Okay, my um, my crew is fighting them, fighting their crew. I do want to get this charge ion down. Uh, it's gonna keep charging up and keep doing more and more ion damage. Um, so I want to I want to um, take that down as soon as possible. And after that, I'm probably just gonna hit shielding here, uh, just to make my life easier in the future. Well, maybe not that much easier, but definitely a bit easier. <clears throat> I will have to deal with the next set of borders now, but yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> we don't have to worry about their weapon system, so I'm just going to send these guys over um, to deal with the boarding party. Uh, just going to kill off the ship here by firing into into piloting and well they teleported back over to die on the airship uh, let's contact the ng oh my goodness we are overloaded with ngs right now that is insane look at that one more ng to join the crew let's put them somewhere in the middle um just as a general tip never put your 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 crew members in your med bay Never ever. It may seem like a good choice because then any time it gets damaged, they can immediately repair the med bay just in case. Y yes, that is true. But if the med, get med bay gets hacked, the med bay will actually do damage to your crew members and will may or may not uh, kill them depending on if they get out or not. So yeah, just just not a great idea to put them in the med bay. So I'm going to take these three jumps before heading to the store. Um, same story as the last time. I just want to be able to afford loads of stuff at the store. So just want to maximize my scrap gains until then. Okay, scary weapon system. No, not really. Uh, just two iron weapons. Um, iron weapons are really good if you have two of them uh, because they st the, the iron damage keeps stacking onto shields. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna dodge this uh, this missile with my uh, with my cloaking. Um, I'm I'm actually gonna drop to two power of my of my shields uh, because they don't have any sort of laser damage. So. Um, uh, they're never going to do damage to me, even if my shields are down. And by adding two more power into my engines, we now have 40% dodge. And if I press my, my cloak here, I have 100% dodge because the cloak gives me 60. So the missile will not, would not have been able to hit, be able to hit me. And right now we fire into weapons and hopefully take down this, this missile launcher. It was down for a second, but then it got, uh, then it got back up. So yeah, not... Not great, we'll take one uh, one or two damage from this, but a two. So yeah, not that great, but there's nothing we can do about it. Next time we'll have our cloak back up. Did it fire just now? I think it did, right? Yeah, we're just gonna cloak then. And yeah, just try to keep the weapons down uh, as much as possible. Uh, it seems that they really want to hang on to this, uh, to this Artemis missile. Um, 
yeah, there's nothing we can do about this one. Uh, we just have to take it. Just gonna try and keep this down. Well, it was down for a second. The next time we will have our cloaking back up, so it's not that big a deal. They will run out of um, out of missiles eventually, by the way. I think every ship has a certain amount of, of missiles. Uh, I think it's sort of like eight, something like that. Uh, yeah, we will not accept surrender to a cloak. But this is an issue. Um, yeah, we have issues getting the, getting the weapons down. But now we actually also have to deal with an FTL that is charging. I should have maybe accepted the surrender. Yeah, I should have. Uh, that was a mistake. I'm not going to let them jump away. I would rather jump away myself. Um, because if they jump away, then they may increase fleet pursuit. Uh, and double the fleet pursuit. Um, and that is, yeah, not really what you want. Um, yeah, I'm just going to accept their offer of surrender. If you explain that you're friendly in this event, uh, you have the chance to get an NG, but I just want scrap right now, so I'll just accept their offer of surrender. Another store. Maybe later. Uh, I'm just going to head up here for the store. Um, definitely need another, another weapon system because, I mean, look at that. That is one scary ship. Oof, I'm so glad we have cloaking. So, so glad. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay, once this fires, I'm gonna cloak. They have a firebomb as well, so they can start fires on our ships. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, double fire. Don't mind if I do. I'm just hoping that the burst laser goes down here. Um, maybe we can get a crew kill here. I think we can. Because the next volley is actually just gonna... Uh, um, oh, and this is the power of NGs. So having them so close to the weapons. Uh, there's a fire in here. Doesn't matter. Uh, I know that there's two people in here. Because they're still repairing it. And both of them were under 30 HP. Um, every single laser uh, fire that you put in there is doing 15 HP to crew, so only two have to hit for the uh, for there to be a crew kill. Uh, I think they have like 13, uh, even less. Um, so yeah, the next time we fire in here, it's gonna be a crew kill. That's uh, what I'm trying to say. So that will be another crew kill for us. There we go. One more, one more laser. Okay, let's repair our crew. Or repair, let's heal up our crew. Um, well, in the case of NGs, it's actually repair, because I think engineers are um, uh, uh, sort of robotic life forms, if I remember correctly. Um, so yeah, let's get ready for this store. Oh, that is hot garbage. Oh, I'm going to take the backup battery. Because that's just a great oh, that's just a great system, but holy moly, this is bad. I would love to get to this store now. Which I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna buy the backup battery, nothing else. I don't want drone control here, I don't want crew teleporter, I just want weapons. Uh, and I'm gonna do that by going to this store and, and having a look what's there. I am going to sell my shield overcharger because I'm never going to use that. I am not yet going to sell my reverse iron field because that can still be useful until the next store. Um, so yeah, 305 scrap. Let's let's just not spend that at this store. Ooh, this is interesting. So here we have two options. Uh, to booby trap the cash to reduce the, um, the fleet pursuit. By one, so one time there's there's gonna no gonna be no fleet pursuit, um, or secure the cash and get a high scrap reward, or no get a scrap reward. I don't even know if it's high. I think it might be even low. If I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna booby trap it uh, because by two jumps. Oh my goodness, that is insane! And another store. Ooh. Okay, well we are so in right now. That is insane. Yeah, I'm just gonna go two stores. 
Fuck yeah. Two two times no fleet pursuit? That is insane. I've, I I don't think I've ever seen that. No, I, I have. But it was with the... Um, there's another event that lets you fight like a like a premature version of the flagship and then you, you can... Um, uh, that's also when you have two times no fleet pursuit. Yeah, sure, I'm gonna accept this this fuel and I'm really glad I don't have to fight you guys because you are so strong. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, we will probably not go there to the quest event, but thank you for the fuel. Store number two. Come on. Don't... Okay! Okay! Hell yeah. Flag number one. That is great. I, I said in the beginning, Burst Laser 2 is the best weapon in the game. Flag, flag number one is... Uh, is the second best because it also does uh, three projectiles. It has a slightly faster charge rate than the uh, burst laser, and it's just great to take down shields. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get that online straight away. Gonna get some more power bars. Uh, I think I may just get. No, I'm just gonna drop this power bar in here, and our offense just got a whole lot better. Even to the point where I'm not even sure that we actually need the... Um, hmm. Even to the point where I'm not even sure if we need the reverse iron field anymore. I would, I would rather get mind control or something like that. Cloaking and mind control work really well together. Um, so there's certain systems that work better together than others. Uh, drone control, for instance, with a defense drone, doesn't really work well together with, with cloaking, in my opinion. Because what cloaking achieves is that you can dodge volleys or missiles. And with drone control, what you usually have is you have a defense drone 1, or maybe a defense drone 2. And what do they do? They help you to get rid of uh, um, um, volleys, uh, laser volleys and missiles. So they do the same thing. Uh, just with, with cloaking, you're much more versatile, in my opinion. But mind control actually helps you to um, to win ship fights if you to win uh, ship fights with crew, for instance. It will help you in the flagship fight uh, when they mind control you. You can counter mind control. Uh, so there's a lot of upsides to it, and I don't think the reverse iron field is um, so useful right now that we shouldn't pick up uh, mind control here. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to get two more whole points of repairs and head out into the system and we might actually be able to go to the quest now because I don't want this store anymore. Because I think I found everything that I want at the other store. Okay, yeah, sure, a whole lot of nothing, that is. Uh, I'm going to go quest, distress, random beacon, random beacon, exit. That's the, the battle plan right now. Well, there's another store with a heavy laser too. Not really something I would I would want anyway. Uh, it doesn't really fit within the ship. Um, heavy t heavy laser two is a great weapon, like really really great. It, the only downside is it costs three power, and we only have two more power that we can spend on weapons, um, because the total amount of power that you can put into weapons is eight. Uh, so yeah, we wouldn't be able to put this in with the rest of our system, so I'm just going to leave it here. Uh, yeah, pretty much not worth it at all. Um, let's go to the distress. Okay, we can promise to help because we have an NG crew member. Um, so I think he can re repair from a distance or something. Yeah, remotely repair the, the targeting system. Uh, cloaking apparently also does work. Uh, but the I know that the NG gives a high scrap reward, 45, not bad. Uh, so yeah, I'll just take that. I think we will dive here. Doesn't really matter at this point. We are so strong, uh, I'm happy to dive for this. Um, it's a bit unfortunate that we had to end up at this store, uh, because that's the reason why we, di why we dove in the first place. But uh, yeah, I don't want to hire anyone, especially not... Uh, these humans. Um, 
So yeah, I'm not gonna hire anyone. So right now I'm actually at full capacity, which is why you see this warning sign here. Um, but yeah, I'm just not gonna hire anyone. I'm gonna get one more power bar uh, because I want to be able to have uh, um, uh, cloaking online and my uh, mind control online. And these two power bars I can fill up with the backup battery uh, when I'm actually gonna be diving, which is right now. Okay, backup battery. Let's go in on, on energy straight away. Let's deal with the borders. So right here, I'm gonna mind control one of them. Gonna send both of my guys out the room and they're just gonna fight among themselves. So useful, mind control is so useful. Yeah, we're just gonna take these volleys. Uh, there's nothing really I want to achieve here. Um, uh, we're just gonna fire the flak first and then once it hits, fire our burst lasers. Uh, this laser did fire unfortunately, so yeah, we, we are gonna take some, some heat here. But yeah, there's nothing we can do. Oh, this is bad. Our, um, our thing got down actually, got taken down. Our, um... Okay, it doesn't matter. We were able to get it up uh, uh, fast enough. So I'm gonna cloak here. They're gonna teleport back pretty soon. And uh, right now, and I'm gonna get out of here. Um, I'm gonna go Unch Uncharted Nebula. We're still not, well, well we're pretty well able to equip to, to deal with the Zoltan ships. I just don't want to, uh, especially because I can get more, more scrap games in Nebulas with my uh, long range sensors. Uh, heal up my crew. Uh, let's heal these guys up. Okay, you've seen us healing, you guy. Too much effort to just keep them like that. Good stuff. I still, I still have one system that needs repairing. Um, so as a colorblind person, that's actually the, one of the hardest things to see is uh, when something is red or when something is gray, uh, because I just can't see the difference. But luckily, they have also added some icons up here where they cross it out. Uh, so that's how I'm able to see it. That is an absolute joke. Um, <laughs> usually in a nebula system, there's not that many stores. And usually what's happen happening is that they're outside of the nebula. And unfortunately, that is right at the start of the sector. So yeah, we will not find anything useful here. Uh, the good news is we already see our first ship fight. So yeah, we're just going to follow the scrap in this sector and just go where the scrap leads us. I'm gonna attack the ship. This is typically a ship that is gonna run away from us, uh, which is not great, but uh, yeah, nothing we can do about that. Uh, they're coming in here. I was able, I saw that because of the uh, indication with the, um, uh, that it was going to getting damaged. Uh, they are firing, so I'm just gonna cloak, fire up my, fire up my uh, backup battery and uh, get 100% dodge. They are coming in. I'm gonna mind control them. Plop my guy in here. Like it's very standard stuff. I'm I'm just doing what I've been doing for the past uh, for the past half hour approximately. Fire into weapons. Unfortunately, this uh, this thing is still up. Um, as you can see, they're fighting inside the um, uh, inside the uh, uh, oxygenless room. And uh, yeah, that's just a bad idea. Backup battery is down, not a big deal. I can just put, put my guys to work. And I'm gonna put these guys to, to work on the on the intruder. Get this down. Get these guys healed back up. And just finish them off with, oh, this one as well. And just finish them off next time. Uh, so right here. So that's actually one of the really big downsides of having NGs only. We can, we're so bad at dealing with borders. 
Uh, yeah, we will not accept surrender. So bad. Oh my goodness. Just engines did no damage whatsoever. Okay, let's heal up Steven. Uh, let's see what we can do about that. Maybe we will find some more boarders in the future, uh, or some more crew members in the future, and we can swap out some of these engines. I think we have at least one too many engines, maybe even two. Um, hmm. Okay. There's some interesting events here. Um, so right down here we have a nebula location where we can see that there is no ship, but there is an iron storm. I know that one of the events there, in that one of the events requires me to have level two piloting. Um, so, and uh, when I when that blue event happens, then I'm gonna get either a crew or some some weapons. Like it just depends. So just because I know that, I'm gonna upgrade my piloting prematurely and just prepare for that. For that possibility uh, yeah I don't need anything else right now let's see what it is it is not that it, it, this is another um, another event I'm gonna prepare to fight uh, and fight the rebel scout uh, our and our energy here is halved uh, because we are fighting in a um, in, an, in a plasma storm location it shouldn't be that big a deal it's just their cloaking is really annoying so yeah we'll have to see how we how we manage this that is not great but i'm i'm more worried about this one i just want to be able to dodge that uh that missile it's a really big missile it's like a three damage missile if i if i count it correctly um so yeah, I just want to be able to avoid that as much as possible. Fire into weapons. Perfect. Completely safe here. Um, so as long as the backup battery is up, we are completely safe. After that, I'm just going to drop O2 and, and engines uh, to give me the energy required to, to keep two shields alive. Or maybe even this. So... Uh, that's bad. That is pretty bad. Missing a volley like that is not great. So we don't need engines right here. Um, we have two sh two shields and two um, two laser weapons against us. So yeah, we're completely safe like this. Just gonna fire into. Just gonna keep on firing into weapons so that the missile launcher is disabled. Um, that's what makes this com this completely safe. And I think the next volley that I'm gonna fire is going into um, into uh, uh, piloting, just so I'm gonna be able to hit my next shots uh, better. There we go. Uh, my next shots are going into weapons again, or maybe even cloaking here. I think cloaking. I just want to not have cloaking against me the whole time. Uh, and the next. Shots should go into weapons. And there we go. Heal up my guy. And move on to the next event. <sighs> so, yeah. Let's get <clears throat> this next ship fight going. Mm, yeah, let's attack the automated ship to get to the station. This can be a double reward as well. Um, <clears throat> if you're at the station, that, that sometimes gives you another reward. Uh, it can be a map reveal or actually some extra scrap. But yeah, definitely useful here. Let's fire up all of our systems again. We don't need a mind control because this is an uh, um, uh, this is just an unmanned scout. Um, they have a pretty scary weapon system, fast firing, 
uh, weapon system, so I'm gonna just dodge the first volley and then fire out my volley right after. Very good. That makes this fight completely safe. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the shield room. Very nice. Next thing I'm going to hit is the piloting to make sure that my next volley is hit. Perfect. So as you can see, there's always a, like a system um, to it. I don't just willy-nilly just... Um, usually what people do is they, they mainly fight, uh, they mainly focus shields. Um, and that is good to do more damage, but taking less damage is so much more valuable in this game. So we get some scrap, uh, let's investigate the station. Well, nothing, uh, nothing useful there, unfortunately. But yeah, we did discover uh, uh, our next ship fight. So yeah, I'm just gonna go uh, up here to see if there's any more ship fights up here. Uh, I may just take some more power. Yeah. Mm. Mm, not sure. So I could take some more power here to, to make the nebula fight a little bit easier. Um, Hmm, not sure. I'm not even sure if, if it's rounds down the power uh, that you have left over or rounds up. But let's just first see what they have and then decide from there. Uh, let's see, they only have a halberd beam. Okay, this is actually a great uh, ship uh, to talk about. So this is what I'm going with. Um, Halberd Beam does two, late, two damage to uh, systems. Uh, let's see where they are going. They're in my um, in my battery room. Let's get in there and kick their asses. So Halberd Beam cannot penetrate my shields if I have two shields up. They don't have the laser weapon active, that is right there. So... Um, so right now I'm completely safe. I don't have to have engines, I don't have to have cloaking, just nothing. If I would fire into weapons, then this laser may come online and may give me a hard time. If I fire into shields, they may free up some power and get this weapon up online. So what I'm going to do instead is fire into piloting, because I know that there's no power in there, so that way the um, helper beam stays online and I'm completely safe the rest of the fight. So if I would fire into any other uh, system here, this may give me issues in the future, but because I uh, just fire into piloting, no issues whatsoever. So yeah, that's something to, to keep in mind uh, when fighting in nebula locations uh, with iron storms. Uh, because yeah, it, it may just be better to... Um, uh, uh, to fire into rooms that don't have any en energy all allocated to it. So if they had doors, that would be fine. If they had sensors, that would also be fine. Um, I don't think any ship has sensors, now that I think about it. Doors, yes. Uh, even better, their FTL is delayed. Um, so yeah, just lots of upsides. A bit curious as to why they swapped why they now suddenly have three shields, but yeah, I'm not sure about that. Really not sure about that. Ah, because the, the, the thing went down. So I need to I need to hit this, otherwise I am fucked. I'm going to take this bribe. I, I made this mistake before where I didn't take a bribe when they were about to, uh, when they were, when, when they were about to leave. So I'm just going to accept this offer. And take my take the strap that I can get. Uh, so yeah, heal up these guys and head back out afterwards. Let's have a look. Oh yes, another another um, ship fight and another store. I mean, that's that is just great. We have quite a bit of scrap that we can that we can uh, uh, use as well. Um, so yeah, let's 
head up to this ship fight. Okay, this is a great rock event. Uh, so with a rock, uh, leading them out of the nebula actually is a high scrap reward regardless, and you don't have to fight the ship. This is a scary ship. I'm really glad I don't have to fight this. <laughs> but I think with the other options you always fight it, so yeah, just something to keep in mind as well. And these are just garbage. Um, burst laser 3 costs a lot and does very little. I think it's one of the worst weapons in vanilla FTL um, that there are. Uh, it charges, it takes a lot of power, it has a long charge time and it only has five shots. Absolute trash. Just hot garbage, this weapon. Uh, let's look at the um, the other options here, at the augmentations. Also garbage. There's nothing here that I would consider even. Uh, no clone bay. Just, yeah, just not great. I'm just going to get some repairs and be on my way. Maybe I'll invest some, some stuff in my ship. Uh, I think getting, um, getting some more power in engines is going to be nice. Um, I'm just I'm just checking here that there's no other store that I'm uh, that I'm missing currently, and uh, there is not. So I'm just gonna put some more power into into uh, engines and one more power into as a power bar. Maybe one more. There we go. Spend all of our scrap. Uh, so our defensive capabilities just went up a lot. Uh, our offense is still a little bit behind. Um, yeah, this never take, well, I would almost never take this weapon uh, because it's just a random weapon that you get. I mean, maybe really good, but, and with the mind control, you can make him, make him offer you a better deal, but then still you take 25 scrap for a random weapon that may not even be that good or may not even fit with what you're trying to achieve. So yeah, I'm just going to attack the ship. It's really unfortunate that we have no slug. Uh, on board because if we had we could see their life forms and then we could mind control uh, um, uh, their pilot when we fire which was good which would give us a lot higher uh, success chance of hitting so I'm just gonna dodge here weapons are down nothing to fear anymore and now just gonna fire into shields perfect we will not accept surrender Let's go. Okay, they have fires here. I can tell because the shield bubble just went down. Um, they have too, too little hull to, to actually get a crew kill, so I'm just gonna kill them off. Um, and gonna take my next scrap. Gonna take my next fight here. Okay, they have mind controlled one of my guys. Let's just counter mind control. Easy peasy. That's the that's the best thing about well, one of the best things about mind control is that you can just counter theirs. Uh, gives you a lot of options uh, to deal with uh, with their mind control. Oh yeah. Okay, so we delayed their FTL. Uh, the next shot is definitely going into um, into weapons. As soon as, as mind control of theirs is up, ours is up as well. So whenever you hear this uh, this noise, you can just immediately mind control your uh, uh, mind control your guy back. Yeah, pretty easy ship fight, I would say. Uh, nothing nothing really too terrifying. Uh, I'm glad we hit the first shot, so the piloting went down. Um, okay, good, good scrap reward. Sells for a little bit at the store. Um, so right now, this is I think the first uh, jump where we uh, have not seen a ship fight uh, with our with our long range scanners, and the only reason why I'm taking it is because there are not that many jumps left in this sector. Um, I just want to maximize the amount of scrap gains. So what I'm gonna do is one, maybe two, three, four, five, or maybe five, five, six, seven, eight, or something like that. Something like that. So yeah, just want to maximize the amount of scrap that we get. Let's look. See, empty, empty jump. Um, and this is usually 
and to jump again. This is usually why, why nebula sectors are not that worth it unless you have long range scanners and you can really, wow. Three, three empty jumps in a row where we have not seen a ship fight. Such a, such a rip off. Um, but yeah, this, this is a, a guaranteed ship fight. So that is great. Yeah, there will be a next time. Um, let's open up fire. Mantis ship, so we'll probably get boarded by mantises as well. Uh, that is the case. Um, not that big a deal. We can just vent this, this room out. And as soon as they come in, we can mind control them and take care of one of their guys. I just want to cloak this missile right here. The rest I don't really care about. Uh, so yeah, just gonna cloak now. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Just gonna open up the the um, uh, the airlocks here. Just gonna vent out the room, kill off the rest of the power to sh to weapons. Okay, he he teleports back. That's great. That means the teleporter is gonna be down for a while. Um, Gonna fire into shields here, make my life a little bit easier. Uh, next volley is going into uh, into piloting. Good shit. Very nice indeed. Uh, I'm gonna go up here. Um, so here, activating the weapons threateningly is actually a high scrap reward um, with a fuel reward always, and I love taking this bribe. Um, I, I think you, I, I think it's, it might have been a medium scrap reward as well. Actually, I'm not 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 too sure about that, but uh, I just like taking it because it's a fr it's free, um, and yeah, I, I, there's nothing I have to do for it. Okay. Tough spot. But I think, as I mentioned uh, previously, this was also a Zoltan sector. Um, I'm going to take Zoltan homeworlds because our ship is pretty well equipped to deal with Zoltan shields right now. Um, we have had, uh, we have a very fast firing weapon system. So uh, we can get rid of the, the shields pretty easily. Slug controlled nebulas are pretty annoying they have a lot of uh oxygen hacking events and stuff like that and a lot of rip-off events and in zoltan homeworld we can actually get the zoltan homeworld's quest which um which makes us uh uh which we, we, where we may be able to get the zoltan shield ourselves or a really well-trained uh zoltan so yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for that because Zoltan, Zoltan shield is pretty good. Pretty damn good. I think I'm just going to avoid this. I'm not too sure. Going down here is maybe the right call. The thing is, I know that Zoltan, the Zoltan Homeworlds event is, an, is a, a normal jump. Uh, so it, it won't be like a ship fight or anything like that. So this might already be the Zoltan Homeworld event. And in that case, it's definitely worth it to check it out. Um, I can just take this later, these two jumps, uh, by going here, 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 here. Uh, so I'm just gonna not go here. And I'm gonna take my chances and hope that this is the Zoltan Homeworld event. And it is not. But that is fine because there is a store. Let's look at the store, find absolutely nothing. We may be able to take the whole laser here, but yeah, not that, not that big a fan. Hmm. No, I'm just going to look for another store. I think our weapon system is good enough to win uh, against a flagship like this uh, with a beam weapon like the whole beam or, um, or even better pipe beam or something like that. You can, uh, you can win much easier for sure. Um, 
but it's not mandatory. This this is more than enough to to deal with any sort of uh, uh, um, to deal with the flagship. Man, I really hope this is this is the Zoltan Homeworld event. Nope, it is not. Participate in their study. Mm -hmm. If this nebula doesn't have a ship fight, I'm not gonna go to it. Oh, that is nasty. That is nasty. I'm gonna mind control these guys. There's gonna be more borders coming my way. Uh, hmm. Do not like that. <laughs> Tough ship, tough ship indeed. Just gonna wait for this guy to... Okay, that's great. They're in, in the med bay. Oh, I didn't cloak. Nope, didn't cloak in time. That is my bad. There's a fire in there, need to drown that out. Uh, so I was too occupied with the boarding situation that I didn't pay attention to the missile launcher. Um, but I did hit their weapons, which is good. Uh, because that means that I can now reliably kill off the rest of their weapon systems. And these borders should also be taken care of by this army of NGs. Um, I'm gonna kill off their shields right now. Good stuff. I think, yeah, this, this guy is able to jump back. That is not a big deal. Heal up that guy. They don't have an NG on board, so yeah, taking this out is now pretty easily easy. Um, yeah, just hit piloting and we are good. Let's go, big scrap gain. No event, no uh, ship fight here, so I'm just gonna take this um, empty location again, just for the Zoltan Homeworlds quest. I really want. <gasps> oh my goodness! Okay, well we are really lucky today. That is insane. Weapon pre igniter. I think you can buy this in the store for 120 scrap. So just this event gave me almost 150 scrap alone such a sick such a sick augment um so this basically uh, makes our weapons be charged right after we jump so as you can see here we will jump into into the next ship fight and our weapons are charged i mean that's just great uh they have a mind control thing here so i'm just gonna counter mind control maybe not no i'm not gonna counter mind control this thing doesn't do any damage, so um, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave this guy on on uh, uh, to hit doors for a bit, and instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire into weapons, mind control the rock that is manning piloting, so our guys have a little bit more hit chance, and we will actually be able to take this down more reliably. Um, I think I should go in here because I think they have my, uh, level 2 mind control. Uh, which makes it a little bit more like, which just makes this, uh, this guy a little bit stronger. Um, okay, good stuff. Yeah, just gonna keep firing into weapons. Uh, or maybe shields here. Ah, I'll go shields. But yeah, it's going to be much easier once we have mind control back up again. I think I may just mind, uh, counter mind control again, actually. Wow, their, hit, their dodge chance is amazing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on on uh, keep this guy busy with my uh... yeah. That's what I should have done. Yeah, that was a good decision. Uh, just gonna keep mind controlling this guy. Um, 
healing up this guy whenever this this whenever this entry gets low. I'm just gonna swap them around and then keep on firing into shields. Uh, their weapon system is actually not that scary at all. Um, it's a burst laser one with a halberd beam. Only if both of these lasers hit can the halberd beam deal damage. And then they also have to time out properly so that they can actually deal damage. So yeah, I'm just gonna fire into shields, make our life a little bit easier. And we just found our late game weapon system. That is insane. Okay, well, we just found ourselves a weapon pre-igniter and a burst laser one that fits perfectly into our build. I mean, I, I, I can't remember when the last time was that we had this much luck. Um, yeah, just going to get this guy in line. Uh, two more power into weapons, then two more powers into uh, two more power bars. Uh, get the burst laser online, swap him around, and get going. Um, I'm still hoping for the Zoltan Homeworlds event. Um, it's very unlikely that we get it at this point, because usually uh, um, uh, it involves uh, going, getting the event somewhere, and then you get another quest marker somewhere. But since we're already at the end of the, of the sector, this would be the next sector. Uh, but the next sector will be the end, so we will not be able to get the quest. Which is fine. I mean, we don't need it. It's just, it would have been nice. Um, I'm probably going to dive this sector because the exit location is in a... Um, let's see. I'm, f I'm just going to get rid of their Salt and Shield. Uh, the exit location is in a... Uh, a nebula, so that means that there won't be an ASB firing at us. Um, so yeah, we'll just be able to get out uh, rather easily. Uh, can they damage me? Sort of, I guess. Yeah, I'll just fire into weapons, just to be sure. Uh, gonna mind control this guy, same as the previous one. Even killed off one of their guys, so yeah. They won't be able to, to damage us at all anymore. I killed off another guy. And yeah, now I'm just firing two shields, take that down. We have such an insane weapon system right now. What is that? Six, ten, um, uh, ten lasers. Insane. And still whiffed like a fuck ton of them. But yeah, details, eh? Uh, gonna get to this distress. To this beacon over here, this beacon, this beacon, and then dive. I think that's that's the battle plan. Maybe even I maybe I can take it this beacon. Yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna take this beacon before that even. Uh, just maximize the amount of scrap that I gain. Well, maybe not. Uh, I'm gonna mind control one of them. Send in my other two guys. Uh, just take care of them pretty easily. Uh, yeah, not much to say here really. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Mind control is a really, really versatile, uh, versatile system. Loving it, absolutely loving it. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of NG, so this is kind of the how we have to deal with with borders. Um, it's not ideal, but it is what we have. So yeah, we just didn't find a lot of other crew. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Just gonna heal the crew back up. Um, and then look at the next events. Maybe I'm gonna spend some more scrap even. Um, I kind of want to wait for four shields. Uh, four shields is sort of now the next big thing uh, that we can save up for. Uh, yeah, we can promise to help because again, we have an NG. Uh, it's the same event that we had before. Shield Overcharger, probably going to be absolutely useless because <laughs> we uh, because we probably won't find a store in the next sector anymore. So yeah, not that great, but details. We have found a lot of good stuff in the last sector, so yeah, I'm definitely not going to complain. Uh, so the exit beacon here is actually quite interesting. So if you have an exit beacon that is in a nebula, it will never give you an event. Just never. Um, so there's never any point to go to this exit beacon for any sort of scrap gain. 
Instead, you can just take all of the other scrap grains around it and then go to the eggs pick and last. Uh, to boarding, to mantis boarding party, same as before, just mind control them, volley into their weapons, miss everything, standard stuff really, standard stuff. I think they might be able to, to kill themselves off. I saw that this guy was firing, just gonna dodge, get in there with our NG, with our NG crew, uh, and fire off our lasers with almost everything. I mean, perfect. Just what you want to see. I do not like that now this thing is firing soon again, so I really hope this gets taken down. But this next volley, well, it sort of did. Oh, we might be career pulling here. I think we are. That is quite unfortunate. Okay, I am definitely, I am gonna get a crew kill here. Um, I'm just gonna fire as quickly as possible. Yes, let's go. It's completely useless for us, but yeah, still a crew kill, late game, that's pretty sick. Um, uh, so yeah, there I just saw that they had a lot, that they have taken a lot of damage to their crew. Um, and yeah, I was able to, to kill off most of them because they were repairing the weapons. And then the last guy was on our ship. He was being pummeled by all of the NGs that we have. Uh, so yeah, not bad at all. Uh, I'm really happy that this uh, location is still uh, accessible to us. Um, uh, because otherwise we'd have to go to the exit right now. But because this is a nebula, Fleet Pursuit is halved. And then we will be able to take this jump as well. Uh, this is a nebula event without a ship fight. So again, our piloting 2 might come in handy here. Uh, so I'm really happy that we bought that earlier. Let's have a look. It is not the right event, but still useful. We're going to secure the fuel supply, even though it really doesn't matter because we don't need fuel and we don't need missiles. So yeah, let's, uh, let's just get right into it. I think this makes us completely safe. Oh yeah, almost safe. Huh? Boarding? Where? Oh no, Mantis boarding as well. You can hear it from the from the sound that they make when they when they hit the doors. I'm just going to try to do the same thing that I've been doing uh, so far. They're going to go into, into the shields room. Oh my goodness, there's a rock in there as well. That is pretty sick. I should have fired this a long time ago, by the way. I don't know why I didn't. I'm still not used to, to having the automated the, the weapon pre-igniter. Uh, okay, they're in, the, they're in my uh, med bay. That is fine. I just need to load up the med bay. Uh, two shield bubbles are enough because they only have the helper beam left. Um, their cloaking also went down, by the way. Uh, that's also good. Uh, so yeah, just going to keep on firing in this general direction. Well, maybe not because they cloak. And I actually hit. That is sick. Um, so yeah, just going to keep on hitting their systems here. I uh, need my oxygen back, um, otherwise I'm gonna run out. I think I can hit... Nope, nope, definitely cannot hit. So I need to hit weapons here again. Uh, wep hitting weapons here is important to not take any damage. Okay, that is pretty bad. I'm sending my NG army over. Oh no, that's just horrible. Okay, I need to load up all of my weapons here because I need to disable their, their FTL. Um, that's even worse when they have their FTL charging and they go cloaking because now I can't, I can't fire my weapons. 
Uh, I'm gonna try to to get their uh, their thing down. Very low chance. Yeah, that's why I thought. I'm just gonna go into the store here. Um, very unfortunate that we didn't get that, but not a big deal. Uh, it's just a little bit more scrap. Uh, it's really nice that there's a store here with an automated reloader. Very nice. And we get to sell all of this junk. Very good. I'm gonna buy the automated reloader. It will make our, uh, um, our cooldown lower of our weapons by 10%. Um, uh, this will... Uh, I'm still gonna keep the long range scanners even though you might think well it's not worth it to keep it in the last sector because it's only gonna be you're only gonna go to the base true but still I'm gonna keep it uh, I, I have had many scenarios where I can actually maximize my scrap gains even in the last sector um, and deck out my the rest of my systems using the scrap that I gained from that so I'm just gonna keep my long range scanners for now uh, and instead, I'm not going to fix anything up because we're going to get a heal uh, at the end of the sector. And I'm just going to pump some stuff into my into my systems, my, some scrap. Definitely going to get this, some power bar. And yeah, the next big upgrade is going to be my, my the backup battery, uh, which I'm going to do next. Uh, four shields here, very, very strong. Uh, we have such a strong setup. Um, I do want to kill this, even though it doesn't really get me anything. Um, so what this... The only thing that, that killing the ship gets me is one fuel. But right now we're so strong that I think it's worth it to kill them, even though we just get one fuel. If we, if we see that it goes badly, we can always get out of here. So yeah, not that big a deal. Uh, just gonna cloak the missiles. Uh, gonna keep and gonna keep the weapons down. There's another guy that teleported in. Uh, he's gonna go into the room where all the other borders are and get pummeled like the rest. Yeah, okay. Everything is down now. We just have to keep it down. Um, that's all we have to do. They have a one damage. Uh, a one. Uh, uh, um, uh, how do you call it? A one power uh, um, missile. So I have to be careful that it doesn't get, uh, come online again. I think there might be a fire in here, if I saw it correctly, because I saw them moving out of the room and into the room. Uh, I think that's it actually. So let's, let's fire some shots in there and, and some shots in there. Yeah, I think it doesn't matter anymore. I'll just fire the, the next shots into piloting here. So, good stuff. Heal up my crew. One fuel, like I said. I would like to get some uh, to upgrade my, my um, med bay so that the uh, thing is a little bit faster, the healing. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. So. Get these guys in there. Okay. We have a full crew. We have um, sh max shielding, max weapons. And we made it to the last sector. No red shirts here. We didn't... <laughs> ah, but we do have a, a thingy. I thought, I thought this was for... Uh, for the thingy, what what is that? No red shirts. I cannot remember. No red shirts. Is that is that here? No, ah, it doesn't matter. So right here, you can see. Um, you can still make use of uh, of um, the long range scanners. Um, so there's a ship fight here. It's gonna get overtaken. It's very difficult to see for me especially. But um, yeah, if you go here, you will have to deal with an ASB. Here you you don't. So I'm just gonna go here, maximize my scrap gains, and 
Yeah, hope for some easy fights. I mean, if they want to hack uh, um, uh, my sensors, that's completely fine with me. Do not care about that at all. I just want to. I just care about getting this missile down. Uh, so that's what I'm aiming to do. It's a bit unfortunate that we can't um, that we can't mind control their their uh, piloting dude right now. But yeah, apart from that. Uh, Let's actually just go here. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, their their shield drone is just gonna add uh, a shield prior periodically to the uh, um, as like a Zoltan shield sort of thing. Oh, that was a big volley! Oh my goodness, they are getting slaughtered. Good stuff. Shields, and the next volley should do the trick. Good stuff. Okay, there we go. Not that big a deal. Gonna, uh, gonna have one more ship fight before the repair station. You don't have to rush to the base. Uh, you can take your time. Uh, Take a few more fights along the way. Really decorate your ship with the last and latest upgrades that you that you want to that you want to add. Um, so here, there's actually a nice ship to uh, to use the uh, mind control on. So right here, I'm gonna mind control and then fire everything. Oh my goodness! Would you look at that? Amazing. I'm gonna drop O2 here just so the O2 drops faster in this in this room. Uh, just so they're gonna take a little bit more damage. Not really mandatory, but just a neat, neat little trick that you can do. Uh, still gonna attack this. I don't want this to come back online. Just gonna get them to go into the med bay again, just like in previous fights. Get a shield hit going. I will not accept surrender, and they are dead. Put the O2 back on. Hop into the repair station. We got a few hull points of repairs, uh, and then get some more scrap. So mind control is useless here, so I'd rather have the power in my um, in my engines. I'm also going to use the extra power uh, from the backup battery, so we have a little bit more dodge chance, um, and then just fire into weapons as usual, uh, and then dodge the missile. Quite unfortunate that the missile came back online. Um, but the good news is because we because of our cloaking the missile couldn't charge so we can actually fire in the, into weapons again hopefully it goes down nope it doesn't even if it fires now we have a, approximately a 50 percent chance to dodge which we did so again not that big a deal good stuff fire in there again and now it is finally down good no more damage So our weapon system is just so strong right now um, that we can even deal with uh, with these sorts of ships without taking any damage whatsoever. Um, fired into piloting again uh, because I just want my next volley to hit uh, and now this will guarantee the kill. Um... Yeah, I think I will just go here now and, and leave these three. So what you could do is that you can go here, here, and then go back up. But yeah, I don't know. I don't. I just don't like to 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 gamble with the flagship uh, in the end. Um, I like going there just now um, and then just fight it straight away. Okay, we have two hundred scraps still to spend. So let's see what we can invest that in. Um, doors are going to be important in the last phase of the flagship because the, we have to deal with borders. I am going to have a few points 
just for protection of my systems. Uh, we said backup battery would be a good one. And I'm just gonna get doors now, I think. I'm just gonna completely ignore this artillery, artillery beam. Uh, artillery beam. Um, I, do, I don't think it's very valuable at all. I'm, I am gonna power it because the fight usually takes quite long against the flagship, but yeah, not that powerful. The reason why I'm getting one, um, one extra in each of my systems is because I want to make sure that my, I can always use my, uh, my cloaking. And if it gets hit, if it gets hit by a missile, for instance, then it get, and then it's going to take one damage and if I only had one point in it, I couldn't use it. So this is just a, a preemptive point, basically, just in case it gets hit. Okay, let's see what the hack is. This looks like, oh, I mean, <laughs> that's like the perfect system to hack. I do not care about that at all. This is the least important system for me, which is great. So I'm going to fire here into shields, going to have level 2 mind control, mind control this guy and then fire into the missile launcher. If we don't have to deal with the missile launcher, that's great. Um, I would like to get shielding down as well, which is going to be the next target. We have a very fast firing weapon system, which is very, very nice for, uh, for this fight. Um, or in any fight in, in general, actually. Uh, I think we might be able to kill one or two crew members off here as well. So the next time the missiles fire, I'll be able to dodge it with my cloaking. Um, but I think the fight is going to be over here. So one, one guy got taken out there um, because of this volley. Uh, and now the next guys are going to get taken out. So we have one missile incoming, just gonna dodge it with my cloaking, get 20, 20 scrap, and I'm just gonna fly to this unvisited beacon just because I can. Um, I had nothing else to do there. Uh, might as well see if there's a bit more scrap that I can gain. Uh, flying back, and now what is very important, I'm not gonna fight, I know, I'm not gonna fight them there. I'm gonna wait for them to come back here. Because I want the third phase to fight. Um, because I want the third phase to be fought on one of these beacons, wherever it's gonna go. I will explain it why uh, when we get to it. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna wait here for now. Uh, the second phase of the flagship, they're gonna go uh, come in with drones. Um, uh, so there's a boarding drone coming my way as well, which is not very nice, but I should be able to deal with that. So I'm gonna just plop everything into shields here. That is the worst location for this drone. Oh my goodness. Okay. The drone hit piloting, which means that we lost a lot of our evasion chance. Um, I am gonna drop this guy in into the uh, into the room, and I'm gonna increase the oxygen in the room. Um, by increasing the oxygen and opening all of the doors, the oxygen will actually leak out very very slowly, as you can see here. Um, and this will really help with uh, dealing with this uh, with this intruder. I'm gonna swap them around so that the NG is taking the heat, and I have another NG on standby now to. Uh, to be able to to jump in uh, in case things go south. I want to disable the rocket launcher here, which I did. And now soon they're gonna have more drones spawning. I'm pretty sure. So this guy is getting pretty low. I'm gonna get him out and now get my other NG in there. There, there's the signal that uh, the drone phase is going to start soon. Uh, we're going to cloak now underneath their, their drone phase. Uh, 
the intruder got taken care of the the boarding drone so we're gonna uh, get everything back into position power our um, our backup battery and heal back up heal our guys back up we can also take the extra energy out of the uh, out of the oxygen as soon as we see less drones we fire immediately to get rid of our uh, to get rid of our cloak so we can whoa that was a lot of crew that was a big crew kill uh, so we anything we kill now we don't have to deal with in the next uh, flagship fight uh, phase um, and right now I'm gonna do something actually I'm gonna let them fight in here that is great okay they, they, they went into into the med bay that is completely fine by me uh, I don't care about that at all uh, I'm just gonna fire into oh my goodness that was a big crew kill right there I'm just gonna fire into the um, uh, into the shields they were all fighting there so yeah great great phase he'll heal everyone back up and put everyone back in position uh, we have 42 scrap let's see what we can get with that <laughs> Well, we could get this. Definitely not gonna get that though. Uh, I could get sensors. I also could get a power bar. I think I'll get. I'll, I think I'll get a power bar here. It's it's just so much more useful than anything else. And right now, in the third phase, we want to jump into them. And the reason for this is that they are going to board us. And if that goes very badly, then. I will be able to jump back to the base and have a safe space to um, where I don't have to fight the ship right away. Um, so that is the that is the reasoning behind it. If I jump, if I wait for them to come to me, I have to jump to one of the other beacons, and then I won't be able to. Uh, um, uh, then I will have to fight the ship and deal with uh, and deal with borders at the same time. Okay, so here they come. Uh, gonna drop O2 so everything, uh, all of the air gets sucked out so much more quicker. Gonna fire off my my laser straight away to get rid of the Zoltan shield. I'm just gonna go do that again. Yeah, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cloak this, and when when these guys are uh, are on their way to me, so when they are on my ship, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here. Maybe not. Maybe that was bad actually. I don't know. I feel like this is going well though, uh, that's going well. We dodged so many things right there. I think we can just kill here. So what I was thinking, I was just, uh, I was thinking, okay, we have a lot of people here um, on our ship. I can just jump back to the base, have a safe uh, space to kill them all and then fight the flagship without any sort of boarding event happening. Uh, we dodged so many things in the last volley that I think we can just kill right here. Uh, there's no need to, for us to, to do anything complicated. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to kill. Here we go. We have uh, cloaking for the, next, uh, for the next fight. Perfect. Okay, just going to mind control this. We took one damage right there. One damage in this in this event. Sick, really fucking sick. I don't even think. Well, we we are gonna have to. We are gonna use our our cloaking here, but I don't think we actually needed to use it there. <laughs> That's so sick. The oh, poor guys. Uh, my control. And yeah. That is the Federation Cruiser victory. Hell yeah. There we go. So we unlocked a few new ships there. 
uh, which is going to be exciting for the next episode. Uh, yeah, that was that was very clean. I uh, I'm very happy with my decision making, especially when it comes to the to the jumps that I took. Um, made some crucial de decisions early on when I went to the store in the rock sector, for instance, um, to get to get an upgrade to my weapon system, which I really really needed. Um, stuff like that can easily end your run. Not finding a weapon is is brutal in this game. Um, so yeah, having the the forethought of needing a weapon to be able to continue in the in the run, uh, regardless of whether there's a dive coming or not, that is yeah, that's just great. Um, yeah, really happy with with the way I played. Uh, let's look at our hangar. Uh, we unlocked a few new ships. We unlocked the. Zoltan Cruiser A and the Lenius Type A. Um, yeah, I think I think I'm just gonna go down this path just just to unlock everything, and then the uh, Crystal Cruiser I'm gonna unlock. You know, whenever I have the I think the Rock Ship, uh, because with the Rock Ship it's relatively easy, especially if the rock, if you have the Rock Sea, uh, because I think there is a. Crystal crew on the rock sea already, uh, which makes finding the the crystal sector much easier, which is how you unlock this So yeah uh, Great great victory. I am three and one right now. So that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good track record um, You're not going to be able to win every run on in FTL. Uh, I also lost my first run uh, Unfortunately, I don't have a recording of that one, but yeah, it's it's very natural to die uh, every once in a while. Um, and yeah, but good decision making uh, is definitely part of, of making a run work. And I think that's what we demonstrated today with the uh, Federation ship. Uh, yeah, thank you for joining, uh, Jisbin. Um, it was lovely to have you in my chat. And uh, if you want to see more of this, this type of content and... I'm going to be streaming in the evening somewhere, uh, um, European time at least. Um, and yeah, if you have any suggestions or, or feedback on, on, on things that you would like to see different, then I'm very much open to suggestions. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the stream and I'm going to upload this to YouTube as well. Uh, so if you want to see more of this type of content, then either Twitch or YouTube is... is uh, gonna be where it's at. So yeah, thank you for joining and uh, I think I'm just gonna take a break right now and uh, do some other stuff. So yeah, see you later.